Okay. All right. All right. Hello, hello, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is you are in the world joining us. We're back for another exciting presentation. Marcin and I were just talking backstage about future archaeologists to come and his amazing research in Nubia and in Poland as well. Um, so today we have for you uh, Marcin, who will be presenting a cultural exchange program between a Polish school um, in archaeology and El Zuma and Old Dongola. Uh, so I hope you guys are ready for it. I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited to hear about this. And Marcin, if you're, whenever you're ready, let me know. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Marcin. I'm a history teacher, but I'm also archaeologist, and I'm just uh, digging, um, digging uh, stuff around the world. And on the last year, I, I went to to Sudan to collect some information about uh, the attitude of the of the people in the Sudan and uh, how they uh, react and how they how they cooperate with the uh, with the archaeologists. Uh, which were quite a uh, uh, stable uh, element of their environment because uh, they are lived near next to archaeological site in the old Dongola. Uh, since fifth, almost 50 years, there is a pottery, pottery uh, archaeological mission and uh, we, we just uh, develop and uh, discover another uh, another area, so another terrain of this uh, very important site for whole uh, Nubia and for the whole Africa heritage, I think. So uh, before we get started and we before we, we go to, to this uh, Nubian subject uh, particularly, uh, I would like to say something uh, about uh, my work and um, about my methodology, how I can uh, react and engage the students to uh, take care about, uh, about the past, about the heritage and uh, how I can involve them into some archaeological project, which uh, could sound uh, very abstract, uh, abstractive uh, for them. But uh, when we take a look uh, after after some weeks uh, and uh, after some workshops, uh, kids start to understand what's going on in the past and, and how uh, how we can deal with uh, with these artifacts which are just dig out from the from the ground, uh, but not only the artifacts is, is given uh, information, but also it's helping to understand the people which uh, live uh, 500, sometimes even 1,000, and sometimes even more uh, more years before us, but they have uh, some similar needs. Uh, and I would like to uh, show uh, my presentation. And this presentation is uh, is about Nubian uh, Nubia in the schools in Poland in the Sudan, and uh, you can see uh, on the first uh, on the first uh, slide uh, there are some images uh, with the kids uh, because uh, I'm working uh, normally in the, in the schools in Poland as a history teacher, and uh, I'm also uh, organize uh, some kind of the historical events. And uh, I'm also participating in some reenactment uh, movement because um, I think that the reenactment is, is also very important for uh, just encourage people to understand the, understand the past, uh, to see that the people in the past were the normal, real people, not the characters from the movies or, or from the from the games. So. Uh, so, so that was the idea of my extracurriculum activities, which I'm, uh, which I'm leading since 2013. So there is all, already seven years of, uh, of experience in this, in this subject, and we uh, start to uh, encourage and support also the Polish archaeologists, which are uh, quite, uh, quite good in the archaeology. They are quite uh, numerous uh, in the in the world uh, archaeological sites, and. Uh, and uh, I would like to support uh, especially such interesting areas as Nubia was in the past. Uh, and here we have like the 
class three uh, class trip with, uh, with the class with the class uh, two is just seven years old uh, kids and we went to to the museum to the national museum of warsaw and, and there's some exhibition about uh, about the faras uh, about the cathedral and far in, in faras and about uh, the f f normal daily life of the monks and about uh, about the wall paintings which were discovered also by the polish uh, by the Polish uh, scientist, and I would like to uh, ask a very uh, important and fascinating uh, question to my students. So, how we can explore the, our past, and what's, uh, for example, what uh, what's uh, older or what is uh, younger, uh, where we need to dig, and and after a uh, presentation of some of my projects and then some of my uh, participants patient in, in the archaeological project in, around the world. I'm just uh, trying to explain them uh, how important it is to examine uh, the literature before, how to uh, plan the archaeological dig and how important is the methodology uh, of this digging and after description of uh, of uh, artifacts which are and monuments which are uncovered. And uh, I would like to also present some uh, some partners uh, of my of my project uh, because uh, I'm an archaeologist and uh, spe specialist for the medieval archaeology. But uh, of course, on the curriculum in the in the school in the history uh, in the history uh, lessons, there is no not only the uh, medieval times but also a lot of uh, a lot of nice. Uh, phenomena uh, from uh, from the ancient time and then from the from the modern time. So so I cooperate with uh, with uh, plenty of NGO, for example, or with uh, the Polish Center of the Mediterranean, which is support me also, f for example, and uh, during the workshop when I organize something in the school. So the the people, the archaeologists who normally work in this center, just came in and, and say something about about the day, uh, magnificent uh, projects. And uh, I would like to uh, share some areas which I done before. Uh, so, so one of my uh, very important uh, subject was the mytho uh, mythology, the, the reception of the mythology, uh, mythology in, the, in the our times. Uh, because of that, I would like to uh, make some uh, workshops, workshops with the also handcraft. Uh, when the kids could uh, learn and 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 see uh, how to uh, make the pottery, for example, from this period, uh, and then here is the methodology uh, connected and associated with uh, with uh, of, of course Greek mythology, and uh, also we take care about. Uh, about uh, areas which are uh, on the danger. Uh, so a couple of years ago, we, we had some uh, also important uh, important visit in the in the museums, and uh, we organized uh, some exhibitions about the Palmyra, for example. And so, but uh, we would like to also uh, engage uh, kids to organize and to understand uh, how. Uh, develop uh, archaeological methodology in the in the past few years. So I mean, uh, there is a lot of inter interdisciplinary projects, and we involve, uh, for example, a lot of people from the different uh, disciplines, uh, like on the old Dongola, where where you have like the specialists for the uh, for the GIS, for the three D modeling, for the examination of the animal bones and everything is collected uh, in the one place and, and all of that from the different uh, from the different sites is uh, collected and uh, to, to show the uh, very uh, particular image of the, of the past society uh, which uh, were in the in the old gondola of course we also would like to make some uh, old crafts and soon will be the uh, crafts uh, made by 
uh, by kids also in the Nubian uh, in the Nubian uh, area. So we also would like to, you know, uh, sharing the sharing the skills which uh, which are normally used by uh, by the archaeologists to, to discover the past. Uh, encourage people to to make the reenactment and to to show uh, how the people live uh, live in the past. And uh, I or I have uh, organized uh, some Sudanese weeks. And Sudanese weeks is a uh, is a uh, group of the events which uh, showing the showing the, the culture and uh, the heritage of the of the Sudan. And then, for example, we're starting with, uh, with the trip to the museum. And in this museum, we can see uh, the um, markets of the old Dongola uh, Cathedral, where we can see the uh, magnificent uh, wall paintings. We can, uh, uh, we can learn about the techniques uh, which were used by the by these people in the in the past, and we can also because we have some uh, cooperation cooperation, and we have uh, uh, no problem of uh, find uh, any uh, people from the restoration and and, uh, co and conservation faculty of the fine arts uh, to, to to come to the to school and to show. Uh, the results of, of their work, so we cooperate uh, with them uh, to see uh, how uh, we can produce a copy of this wall painting with the kids. So, so we just uh, print out some uh, images, and after kids use the uh, use the charcoal to uh, make the shapes uh, of these uh, images of this of the saints, and after. Uh, and after they uh, cooperate, uh, and then they uh, color this with, uh, with uh, original pigments and, and uh, original uh, painting uh, techniques. We had a very nice uh, event with, uh, with the making of, of the adobe uh, with, uh, with a clay and with, uh, with some straw. We use uh, different kinds of the of the soil. We uh, mix them, and then after a couple uh, couple of days, we just uh, take uh, the forms and then just uh, show uh, and and to also uh, try to uh, show the the results uh, of this. And uh, after after a couple of days, we would choose the adobe with the most uh, attractive, uh, uh, attractive properties uh, for for the billet, uh, for the billet, uh, the buildings, and uh, and we build some markets with this other uh, some some markets of the Nubian Nubian uh, village uh, village buildings. Uh, so that's uh, make uh, that's make to to us uh, very nice uh, results. And so also after we choose uh, some schools uh, in the Sudan to, to make the uh, direct uh, help for, for them to, the, to make the um, possibility to, to speak about the different countries. And uh, our first uh, goal was the schools in the Zuma. Uh, where uh, our professor Mahmoud Al Tayeb uh, has uh, own own project, and we we collect uh, some money of the, uh, for 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 these schools uh, with a, with the schools in the in, in the Warsaw. Okay, so now I would like to show you the. Uh, I would like to show you the uh, screen. Okay. I hope you will be able to uh, to see what's happening. Okay. And, and here is like like movie make uh, make me uh, by my friend uh, by Zosia Kowalska. Uh, about uh, about the kids in the Poland and in, in the Sudan, and the um, name of the project is only miles uh, are away 
uh, between us. So, so we can see how, how does it look, uh, work. And the music is uh, just African music. So it's uh, it was quite hard to find uh, any uh, Sudanese music, but I'm, uh, in the future project, I, I will uh, try uh, my best to, to do that better. But uh, it's also the making some African climate already, so, so I hope you will enjoy it. So there's some image from the from Sudan and then uh, from the from the Poland, and we just uh, would like to show the similar activities we, which are uh, taken by the by the kids uh, in Poland and in Sudan. So as I, as I told before, the, uh, the name of the project is just uh, the kilometers and uh, mile uh, are away from us. And, and now I think, okay. Okay, okay so you see me right now. This looks clean. It shows looks clean. Okay. And uh, and yeah, and we uh, just uh, would like to uh, have more schools in the in the Poland uh, who who can support us and who can uh, participate. Uh, participate in uh, in our work, so we just uh, make the um, make uh, excuse me. Uh, we just make the posters and uh, and we just uh, you know now trying to reach as uh, as many schools as we as we can to to support more schools in um, in the Sudan. And not uh, not only with a with the very, very uh, close to to our archaeological sites, but uh, also in the in the different uh, areas of the Sudan. Uh, so we choose uh, quite a few attractive uh, topic for uh, for these uh, um, workshops. For example, drums or the calligraphy, the Arabic culture. Uh, we have very nice. Uh, we have very nice uh, workshops uh, about um, about the women's and uh, about the women's secrets in the in the Sudan. So, so about how they they act, uh, how uh, how look like uh, the life of the. Um, of the uh, of the wounds uh, in the in the Sudan, so we speak also about the henna patterns and uh, we we speak uh, uh, about the perfumes, uh, about the uh, customs uh, before the wedding or or different uh, different ways uh, to. Uh, to dress dress up in this uh, area, it's uh, also very important to to show to to people the uh, beautiful fabrics and textiles which were uh, important uh, 
in uh, in the medieval in the medieval times and, and also after where uh, we finding the uh, traces of of these very uh, beautiful uh, stamps uh, used for decorate uh, the textiles and uh, uh, because of my cooperation with uh, my cooperation with uh, with some craftsmen we were able to make the copy of the stamps and uh, during the classes during the uh, during the uh, workshops the kids are able to do uh, own own stamp uh, textiles uh, and, and to take them uh, take them home or take them wherever they would like to go uh, we also make uh, make the workshops with the carpet waving okay uh, with the carpet uh, carpet waving which uh, is also important uh, in this uh, area to uh, to show how the people uh, could uh, spending their uh, their time, what was the daily life in uh, now and in the past, and what is the difference between uh, between the the, the times, uh, for example, five hundred years ago or uh, or now, and uh, we have also cooperated uh, some. Uh, um, craftsmen, which uh, which are the specialists for uh, for the, uh, decoration in the metal, so so probably soon uh, we will also uh, have more uh, more particular things uh, about uh, about the uh, about jewelry and and different uh, kind of the uh, workshops in. Uh, different kind of the workshops in in, uh, in Sudan and in uh, Nubia in, in the medieval times also uh, yes and, uh, and, now, and now I would like to uh, Okay. Mm. Okay, and uh, now something about the timelines and uh, about the, what I'm going to uh, to do uh, after. I would like to uh, do some. Uh, Workshops in, in Poland and uh, collect some money for uh, for the kids and for the school in Sudan. And uh, I would like to uh, show uh, also something about the Polish culture to to, to make this uh, program and not only uh, the way to say something about uh, about the heritage in uh, in sudan but also about about some important stuff uh, which came from uh, from poland so uh, i would like to uh, make some charity picnics but uh, on this moment is quite unstable situation in uh, uh, in the world, and, and some uh, some of these events would would be probably postponed. Uh, but uh, I'm just you know very motivated, and, and I'm just waiting for the time when uh, everything will be safe and I, I can uh, organize very huge events in Poland. Uh, but for, for this moment, we would like to add uh, some new schools, and on these uh, new schools will be uh, events. And uh, we uh, instead uh, the charity picnic on the open air. We would like to uh, organize some online selling the goods. So we will have the uh, workshop in, in the school, and uh, after uh, after these workshops, uh, where uh, I. 
I will uh, produce with the kids some objects associated with the with the culture uh, of the Sudan and in Poland. We will make uh, make the charity action in the online, and we will collect some money for uh, for these uh, renovations uh, renovation work in the in the school. And after we're in the February, we would like to uh, present these results on the conference, and uh, and after. Uh, we would like to uh, repeat uh, repeat this uh, mechanism when uh, I'm collecting where there is collecting money in Poland, and after we're going to uh, to the Sudan, and uh, uh, and we uh, work with the schools. Uh, but uh, of course, not only the uh, renovation is very important, but also the contact with. Uh, uh, with uh, scientists, so with the people who uh, could uh, make some uh, to make some uh, some archaeological workshops. So we will choose some uh, uh, topics. For example, how archaeologists can read and layers in the in the field and tell what was happening in the past. Uh, so I will uh, make some experiment uh, with uh, with the kids and, and showing the, the layers and the way how the archaeologist uh, could uh, uh, could uh, read the, the layers. Uh, we are also working on on some worksheets, uh, which will be dedicated for this uh, old Dongola uh, old Dongola uh, sites. Uh, but we need to, you know, to do that very particular uh, to uh, be accurate uh, for uh, the history of the sites and uh, to show uh, how the um, layers grow up in this in this place and uh, to just point out uh, significant uh, elements which could be. A, Recognized by uh, by the people who will visit this uh, visit this archaeological site, yeah. So and uh, uh, another another subject of the workshops could be the costumes and the fabrics in the old Dongola fabric uh, stamping workshops. So, so as already I I I told you before, uh, basket and braids uh, modes of the transport and travel in the different time. Uh, so, so we will uh, make some uh, braiding uh, workshops. So I, I'm looking for cooperation with the indigenous uh, people who uh, are, you know, very uh, very skilled in this uh, in this pro in this program, and maybe some of uh, some of craft would like to come with me to uh, to the schools and, and to uh, show. Uh, to kids how to how to do the basket, uh, which are also the numerous artifacts uh, discovered by the Polish archaeological mission in the many many layers in the different uh, different layer different uh, points of the settlement in in the old Dongola side. Uh, we also would like to cooperate with uh, with uh, architect architects, and uh, here is. Uh, Mm, very mm, nice attitude of uh, of my colleagues who who works there. So, so special grateful uh, uh, greetings. I would I would like to send to my friend Joanna Vishko, uh, which is which is helping me with uh, the recognizing the, the needs uh, of the schools. Uh, we make the description uh, of. Uh, of the statement uh, of, of the building of the schools, and also she's uh, very um, eager to uh, take part in leading some uh, workshops for the for the kids about the arch architecture of this uh, of this site, and, and she is also uh, very uh, interested in the record uh, with. Uh, Mm, making the reconstruction of these uh, sites in, uh, in, the, in the Sudan, so we can uh, see her uh, her work in the, in the different uh, the different places. 
Um, yes, Aladdin Rag uh, that will be this uh, waving, uh, waving, uh, waving uh, workshops. Uh, Arabic calligraphy. We can we can say something about the culture, about the writing styles around the world. So, so it's also uh, attractive for the kids uh, in, the, in the different uh, different areas. Uh, we can do some. Uh, workshop about the Swedes, for example, uh, that that was uh, quite shocking to me that uh, the uh, kinds of the Polish Swedes uh, are quite popular, uh, quite popular in the in the Sudan too. So maybe we can uh, cooperate with all of the producer of these Swedes and uh, and try to find some funding also uh, from this place. Mm, and uh, here we we have this woman's secrets, which uh, uh, will uh, uh, support uh, different uh, support uh, to know uh, the different the, the daily life uh, of uh, of the women in in the Sudan and in the different uh, different places. Yeah, so yeah. And now, um, I would like to. Okay. Okay, so now I would like to show some. Okay, some some photos from my stay in Sudan. So uh, I have uh, a lot of luck to and and a lot of pleasure to take part in some ceremony uh, on the schools. And uh, before we we get start to dealing with the with the schools, we. Uh, we spoke with the local people uh, about uh, about the development. Okay. And, um, okay. So. Uh, okay, so uh, I would like to see uh, some. Uh, I some some photos from this. I'm not sure I can. Yeah. Okay, so so you can see uh, the uh, participation of uh, of me in in the ceremony of uh, giving the, the diplomas after the uh, semester. So that was uh, that was a nice experience for me. Uh, we um, also given some some small gifts uh, from from Poland uh, to. To, uh, to the students to uh, say hello and, and to uh, okay so 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 it's uh, quite uh, quite nice and uh, the kids react very very nicely. We make sure as I told you before as I told you before uh, we we'll make some. Um, uh, photos of the of the place. What is the what is the biggest problem of this place? So, so uh, the the biggest problem is the leaky leaky roof, where a lot of water is coming in into the interior of the classroom. So uh, we would like to start. Yeah. Uh, we would like to start everything with, uh, with making the roof uh, for for this uh, for this school. And then we we have some ideas uh, with, uh, with Joanna how to uh, how to do that, and uh, that was uh, a lot of uh, nice meetings with, uh, for me to uh, 
to find uh, the people who take care about the students and uh, to 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 know how important the education is, no, no matter uh, it's this teacher from Poland or from from the Sudan, uh, I I saw the respect uh, respect to, to the young uh, young people and to to uh, either will to um, support them in the day of discovering uh, the world. Yeah, so, so here is the, the, the photos from, from the entering of the school. Here's Joanna. And, uh, and there, there is also uh, much more Polish people who, who cooperate with me and who, who support me in this project. So uh, I would like to say thank you also to Magic Vizgo. To, to Mateusz, quite is for, for making all these beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, photos, and uh, probably uh, in the f future we can do some exhibition of this, uh, all these photos uh, even in Warsaw. Uh, so it's also helping to uh, to get uh, information to to uh, to more schools. And then, as, as I told before, we, we spoke with the parents before, we spoke with the, uh, with the local community, uh, how, we can, uh, how we can help uh, these people to engage them in this uh, archaeological process, uh, because our idea, uh, our idea is uh, to uh, find uh, to find a way to encourage these people, for example, to be a, a guide uh, for this uh, archaeological site and to show that uh, these people could could work also in this uh, heritage industry and this potential could be uh, could be taken by the by the local people who know the area uh, best. Okay, so. Uh, I had some question about about this uh, about this uh, time timeline, and uh, and this timeline is uh, not so not so accurate as I as I told before. So because of this uh, coronavirus thing uh, in the world, uh, it's probably will be moving. So basically, the uh, the idea is to organize some. Uh, Events in the Sudan in the in the February and in the November, while uh, there is an archaeological mission, uh, archaeological mission uh, in Sudan, which also support uh, support us to uh, to cooperate with with the school. Mm, and I'm very glad that uh, happened, and and uh, there is so positive. Uh, uh, positive energy between the, the Poland and between the uh, teachers in the, in the school in uh, in Sudan. So I'm just looking forward for uh, maybe your suggestions or maybe your questions and uh, ideas uh, which could be involved uh, to 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 my project to develop uh, this. Uh, uh, cultural exchange between the Poland and, uh, and between um, between uh, Sudan, and, and I think uh, that's it for this uh, for this moment. It's like uh, just uh, introduction for uh, for for you, and I'm just uh, you know here uh, here for some more minutes to to do, to uh, answer your question or something. Thank you so much for that presentation, Martin. Yeah. Um, I did have a, a couple of questions for you as I was watching along. Um, yeah. One of my questions for you was, do you think the children on both sides, both in Poland and in Sudan, may experience some culture shock during the exchange program? Um, and do you, how do you imagine kind of, uh, dealing with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to put them in the danger, of course. Uh, I, I, just, I just would like to, you know, uh, tell them about the difference in the 
uh, in, in the different uh, different size. Also, uh, the, the main uh, um, pilaster of this product is also respect for for your own you know uh, beliefs for your own. Uh, for example, religions, uh, customs, and, and, and other stuff. So, so, so we are quite aware of what uh, what could be sensitive for uh, for the kids and what, what could be uh, you know normal thing in the in the Poland, but uh, totally un, uh, unnormal in the in the Sudan. So, so we also cooperate and with, uh, with the people who know Arabic very well, who know this uh, culture, and uh, I everything just, uh, you know, uh, consult with them. And before uh, before mm -hmm. I taking any any activities, I decide to do something. So you know, there's a couple of people who are much, uh, much more uh, experience in this area, uh, include all, also the native uh, Sudanese people. So. Uh, so I consult everything, and, and every, everything is like step by step, uh, and I think of uh, the wise way. I think. Wow, that's thank you so much for that answer. And like a true archaeologist, you're talking about ethnography right now, and making mm -hmm. sure that you know cultural relevant, uh, cultural relative, cultural relativity is something that's taken into consideration, and you know making sure that um, uh, you know you understand what's going on on both sides. Um, the reason why I asked that question is because even in my undergraduate career at university, you know, we've had some um, cultural exchange students who come and they spend a, you know, a month or two here and they're, they're so shocked. They're like, whoa, what's happening? Mm -hmm. You know, why, mm -hmm. why is it so different than, you know, what's going on back home? And, you know, so just trying to get them acclimated into understanding that. Um, mm -hmm. And just, yeah, uh, I, I guess, you know, sometimes people are, uh, they see things uh, happening in different parts of the world and they don't really, um, uh, they don't really think about that you know they don't think about mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no deep analyze uh, mm -hmm. right? yes yes but uh, yeah but we will try to understand the, the people because uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of experience uh, the kids uh, also could uh, meet for example this uh, uh, Marvelous professor, the the, the Mahmoud Al Tayyab. Yes, so, so 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 we had some very nice meeting with him and with the kids. So so, so everything is safe. Everything is uh, you know well prepared. I think, yeah. and uh, no one would like to say something stupid to, to each other. Yeah, yeah. That that you know, I I looked at the timeline that you presented, and that was uh, we call that a logic model. Um, or in in some other disciplines and. You know, studying public policy and things like that, we call that a logic model. And it, it looks like an amazing timeline that you've set up, you know, and it's very intricate. Um, as I was looking at it, you know, you have things, um, you have questions that you may come across, issues that you may come across, how you're mm -hmm. going to deal with those things. And that, that was very well put together. I, just, I definitely wanted to, to, to let you know that um, because it, mm -hmm. people don't really understand how planning something like this mm -hmm. works. The, the yeah. details that go into it and the different parts that you have to think about. So definitely an excellent job on, on that timeline. And, you know, you're thinking about different things that are going on and I wanted to yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I also would like to say thank you to, to coordinate my, uh, my project and to make uh, any space for, for making a new project in, in Sudan for, for Tom, uh, Tomomi, which is uh, the head of the, um, uh, she, she's responsible for the contact with the uh, with the people with the with the community, uh, and because of her work on the beginning, uh, that, that is uh, possible to uh, to start the, the cooperation of the school right now. So, so the big big thanks uh, I would like to address for for her on the, on the first. Uh, Name. And I consult uh, things with her, consult uh, things with the art of our head of our mission. So, uh, so it's a lot of people work uh, already, <laughs> not, not only me. So, so uh, but it's a lot of pleasure also to, to not only the hard work, but the satisfaction is enormous. And then uh, it's a thing who, who makes me fly, really. <laughs> um. So then one thing that we, we tend to, to do here um, on Nubia Fest and, and that you'll see coming up in, in um, Africa Week is uh, how is it that we can help you? How is it that our viewers can help you? Um, is there anything that you would need to make this program especially successful um, mm -hmm. that you know we can help you with or that 
um, anybody who's tuning into this later on can mm -hmm. see it and say, okay, maybe I can provide this as a, maybe, uh, you know, a lesson, for example, or, um, it, you know, in any way that they can help. What is it that, that, that we can do to make sure that this program is especially successful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't think we, we can just uh, see for uh, maybe some teachers uh, from from the Sudan, mm -hmm. uh, which are quite interested also with uh, some kind of uh, ex uh, uh, intercultural exchange and, and something like this. And to, when I will have some contact with the teachers, so that will be easy, easier for me for uh, taking the data, for example, what is the cost of the of the handbook for the English or something like this, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah what is the cost of the bench or, or what is the cost of the chair? Yeah, because uh, sometimes I uh, need to make this uh, estimate, uh, is, estimate uh, budget. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when I will get, you know, uh, first-hand information that will be much easier and not will be any, you know, shock on the, on the plate. This is so, so, so I would like to ask for just this kind of help if it's possible. Okay, yeah. definitely. We will, you know, we'll make sure that we share this video far and wide and see if we can get um, mm -hmm. some people to help with that. Um, I also want to ask you, if somebody wants to contact you, wants to get in touch with you about this program, can you yeah. give us an email or a, uh, a yeah. social media that we can put up so that people can reach out to you? Yeah, well, of course. Well, the, the social media, uh, I have like Martin Gostkowski, mm -hmm. who is on the Facebook, and I'm the CZ uh, okay. And you can also write to me on this, uh, on this uh, address, email address. Uh, uh, which, which I make some correspondence already. Uh, okay, so I have also some fan page uh, because uh, I would like to share my ideas. So uh, my fan page is a fan of history, which means the history teacher, <laughs> uh, you know, basically. Uh, Okay, so I just sent that out across. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will just put that then on the on the right side uh, chat, and, and you can pass uh, to all good people what you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you can give me one second, also I put it up as a banner. Um, mm -hmm. Just one second, and so this is where you folks can reach uh, Marston. Yeah, ghost ghost. It's a hard one. <laughs> All right, so there you go, everybody. If you would like to email Marcin about this project or know anybody who can help with any part of this project, please make sure to reach him at that email right there. Um, and Marcin, I, I want to thank you for everything that you have done for not only Sudan, but also Nubia as well. Um, on mm -hmm. behalf of Nubia Fest and on behalf of myself personally as a Nubian as well. Um, I yeah. definitely want to thank you for that. I, I appreciate you greatly. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to following up with you and, and hearing yeah. about the program and, and how I can personally help and how, you know, we as okay. the new media uh, I, I'm sure we're all still in contact. And so I would like to say also big, big, big thank you to you know, the organizers uh, of this uh, Nubian Fest and thank you for your work. It's excellent thing. Uh, to, to have in the one place so many topics and so many interesting things about this uh, extraordinary uh, area and heritage, which Nubia is. Okay, so I think... Thank you so much. Okay, so I'll end the broadcast now. Okay.